right. KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis is live at Coronado's watch party in Canuntio. Good evening, Andy and Natasha. I am here with Sergio Coronado, who right now is the projected winner. Now, Mr. Coronado, how do you feel about the results right now? You know what? We're very happy. I'm really thankful to the voters of El Paso, uh, not just Precinct 4, but everybody in El Paso. I think uh, the people spoke out. They want good government. Uh, we've run an honest campaign, and I think the people of El Paso deserve that. They deserve better than what my opponent gave them, and I think that it's a, a new time for for uh, the people of El Paso uh, to stand up and get good government. We need to aspire to do not just basic services and the basic government that, that does it. We need to aspire to be the best run county government in the state of Texas. Uh, the people have spoken about what they want. Uh, I've put forward my plan, my uh, platform. Uh, I'm really thankful. I'm thankful to all my supporters, uh, my campaign staff, everybody. Um, you know, the, all the results aren't in, but uh, you know we're really happy about the results, and it just says a lot about uh, about the constituents. I love my community. I love El Paso, and I think we're going to do good. Everything's really going to work out, and uh, on to November. Oh, uh, and then what do you think will be the first thing you do if elected? Well, you know, there's a lot of things that we need to do in county government. Uh, uh, you know, we, our, our roads need improvement. Our parks need improvement. Uh, I want to put forward a plan. What's called the El Paso promise which is going to basically free community college education for our kids we want to keep them here in El Paso we want to keep them from leaving we want to eliminate every obstacle that they have to continue their education and get a workforce training if we do that we're going to make sure that we attract industry we're going to elevate the economy and we're going to elevate their standard of living you know in Canutillo especially one out of uh, 18 or 20 percent of the people here are still below the poverty level we need to do something about that that's unacceptable and we're a community that it's a large community we need to do better and I think the people will get behind us one of the things we really need to do is unify all our county governments in this El Paso promise uh, every single elected official needs to get behind that well thank you so much mr. Coronado and good luck to you on Honey, your future endeavors thank you so much thank you for being here thank you to the people of El Paso and thank you to all my supporters my staff <laughs> spoke with the incumbent Carl L. Robinson and he told me that if this was the plan that was laid out for him, he will choose to follow it. God has a message for all of us and everything happens for a reason. So uh, should we not win? I say should we not win? Uh, maybe that was my destiny that I do something else for to help make this, our community a better place to live. tonight he will still be a part of the November election later this year. For now reporting from Canio Theo, Tony Davis, KTSM 9 News.